Hello and welcome back. It's puzzle time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're playing Entropy Spirals. Now, trying to represent entropy in these thumbnails is always a challenge. You know, how do you actually sort of represent chaos as best as you can? But, you know, at the same time, don't make it too serious and depressing. So my attempt here is essentially almost stardust that's coming in through the bedroom window of this child creating little spirals and magical dust all over the place. That's my attempt. I think it's pretty good. Let's take a look at today's puzzle. Now, you always know you're going to be in for a phenomenal treat when you end up featuring a puzzle from Willpower. And um, yeah, very much spirals. I guess these are also going to be entropy lines. We'll take a look at the rules in a second. And um, all the clues are restricted to these five boxes. So this will be quite interesting to see how it unfolds. Rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply, so that means place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, in every column, and in every 3x3 three three box. Now, yes, the blue lines are indeed entropy lines. So any set of three neighbors on blue lines contain one low number, so 1, 2, or 3, one middle number, 4, 5, 6, and then one high number, 7, 8, 9, and then the pattern repeats again. Now, obviously in this example, I just started spewing some of these numbers. Clearly that was a wrong one because 789 is not gonna fit in a five cage. So we don't know what the order is. The only thing that we know is that there will have to be three, well, essentially we'll go low, medium, high, or low, high, medium, or something along those lines. But more importantly, it'll be whatever low is, skip two, and then there'll be a low again to make sure that the pattern repeats. I don't know if I really messed up that explanation, but the rules are in the description as usual to help you process it if I absolutely messed that one up. Killer cages, numbers in cages sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Going back with that five example, if this was a two, this would have to be a three to make sure they do add up to five. And you've got lots of cages peppered throughout the puzzle where you can see clearly the borders with these dashed lines, and then the number total is shown in the top left corner, such as these two cells add up to 13. What else do we have? Kropke pairs, numbers with a black dot between them are on a ratio of two to one. So if this was a two, this would have to be in a two to one ratio of let's say one or four, and not all possible dots are given. So nothing wrong with me having two and four here. I do not need a black dot between these two cells. That's all the rules. If you want to play along, if you want to experience what Entropy Spirals is all about, link will be in the description down below. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. So I can see, and I'm not like, okay, so let's place a digit. That is one. How do I know this? Because in a box, they have to have the digits one through to nine. You add them all up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, you get to 45. Now, I also know what all of these add up to, because I have four 11 cages, which is 44, and therefore the remainder is 1. Now, what I was about to say before I kind of jump right into here, is I can see that 5 is in one of these two cells. can never have a 5 in a 10-cell cage, because... How would you get to 10 if you do not repeat the 5 and break Sudoku rules? The other cell that is could have a 5 would be in here, but it's on a black dot. So it's not 2.5 as the partner for the 5, and it's not 10. So 5 cannot be on a black dot ever. Well, until some constructor comes along and starts introducing decimal numbers. Until then, they are not allowed. So the next thing that I'm thinking around is coloring so i don't know traditionally what i normally do is blue would be low digits yellow would be middling digits and then red would be high digits seven eight and nine now i don't know what any of these entropy cells are what i do know though is is every two cells the color repeats let's go this is green every two cells the color repeats i'm gonna go with orange and every two cells, this will have to be purple. Which is brilliant, because take a look at this five. What it's saying is two digits from the same group add up to five. And the only numbers I can think of that would do this would be two and three. 
The other pair will be 1 and 4, but they're from different groups. So purple does have to be low. This is 2, 3. That's a 1. That's an 8 to add up to the 9 cage. That means orange in this case is red, and therefore green has to be yellow. And I'm going to actually just delete this for my sanity. Right, this is from 7 and 9. If that's a 9, that would be a 3. So that's not 9. That's 7. That's 5. That's 9. That has to add up to 13. That's a 4. And that's a 6. Excellent. Where else do we take this next? Um, so I'm guessing this will sort of unfold pretty similarly in here. Actually, I, I kind of skipped this cell. What is this? 20, 30, 42. That's a 3. That is helpful because that tells us the entropy color. So that means this is blue. And that means this is blue. 10, no, we have middle. I know that 5 can't go in a 10, but 4 and 6 absolutely can. Now, this is from 1 and 2. Therefore, this is from 8 and 9 to add up to 10. That gives me the next color. That's red. Therefore, that's yellow. That's yellow again. This is clearly going to be 5, 6. They're the only ones from 4, 5, and 6. That can add up to 11. Uh, this is now red, presumably, yes. Then back to yellow, back to red. Did I do this correctly? Yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue. Yep, yeah, all good. Right, this is a 4. We know that because 5 and 6 are gone. That's an 8. This is 1 or 2. In fact, that just gives me the rest of it. This is 9. This is 1. That's a 2. That has to be a 7 to add up to the 9. And, oops, we're good. Right, um, we may as well, since we've got momentum here, I'm going to, again, not worry about colors. Just go with green, um, orange, and purple. And you can see two of the same color in 15. That's got to be 7 and 8. So purple in this case is red. These are 7, 8. That's a 9. That has to be a 2 to add up to 11. Orange in this case is blue. Green is yellow. And we can probably fill it from here. This is 1 or 3. 3 can't go inside a 6. It would require another 3. That's 1. That's 5. That's 3. That's 6. And that's the remaining yellow digit. That's 4. Right. Lovely. We can probably do this. The black crop key dot is kind of the key here. So the way to think about this is whatever this digit is, its partner, as in the partner that makes it add up to 10. So let's say this is a 1. Then the 9 would be in here with the 5 and 9. In fact, we can actually place that 5 now. Let's just place it. So kind of options that can go on a black crop key dot and still work in this slot would be one, for example, with a nine in here that actually does work. That becomes two. That becomes eight. It doesn't. The eight conflicts. So one is not possible. Two and eight doesn't work because that would require an eight in here. That's not available. Three is not available. Six is not available. This is four or eight. So if this is four, that would be six. That seemingly works. And presumably, this would be 2 and 8. It would be specifically in this order. That seems to certainly work. The alternative would be 8, 4, and 6 with a 2. What's unusual is I'm not seeing anything wrong with that either. Right, 3, 7 can only be in here. In this 10 cage, this is 1, 9. We can do a bit better with that 9 in here. That's a 1, that's a 9. Can I not do better? Yes, I can. 7, 8, looking at this cell, that's a 4, that's an 8, that's a 6 to add up to 10. That's the 2 as the completion of that 8. That's 3 or 7, that's 7, that's 7, that's 3. Lovely. Can I do the 11s? Probably. I mean, I guess I have to because, you know, these boxes that really don't contribute that much. So I'm going to have to use boxes 3 and 7 to complete the 11, and then hopefully Sudoku will bring it home. So let's think about 11. We need a 2, 9. You can see that the 9 and the 2 are not here. 9 is not there. Could I do 2, 9 here? Yes. 
Unfortunately, I could do nine with a two there. That's also works. So I don't know if I want to do this, but I'm just going to work my way through it. Four, five, maybe. Yes, that's much better. Five, none of these cells, none of these cells, just all of these fives. That means I need four and five in here. That four gives me an order. The four would have to be here and the five would have to be up here. And that four tells me that's not the four, that's the four, that's the five. Lovely. Seven, maybe? Seven and four? Why did I think the five goes with a four? Excuse me. Five goes with a six. It, it actually does work, shockingly. <laughs> and it's the same logic. So no fives, no fives. The five would have to partner with a six. So the six couldn't be here. It would have to be in one of these two cells. And it's not this cell, because, so it has to be here. So that's six, that's five. And then we'll move on from my awful maths. Seven, I had too many options. So four, seven, what about three, eight? Three, eight. Well, it can't be these two cages because I've got an eight and a two, three pair, eliminating a three and eight, three, Therefore, neither of this cage could be 3-8 because, you know, there's no option left there. So that is the 3-8. That 3 gives me the order. That's 8. That's 3. That's now forcing the 9-2. And this is to finish it all off the 7-4. Seven, 7 is up here. 4 because of this 7. Um, we know what these are. That 8 gave me the 7. The 8, I don't actually... Oh, no, yes, I do. The 2, the 3. I don't know what this is, though. Nothing is looking at it. Right, lovely. Shall we start looking at these columns? Where do we go next? So I need one, four, and eight. Not very interesting. I can see one, four, and eight are on separate columns. Sorry, separate rows. So maybe not the one to go for first. And it wasn't one. That's probably, it was five. Five and eight are on the same row. That's a four. And therefore, this is 5 and 8. Okay, let's try the same logic again. We've got 1 and 2 and 6. Right, this time they're definitely on separate rows. So let's look in here. It's not 1, 2. It is 3, 7, and 9. 3 and 9 are there. That's a 7. These are from 3, 9. I'm not going to pencil mark this for now. Let's just keep using the same trick, see what else we've got. We need one, two, and nine. One and nine are in the same row. This is one, nine. What else do we need in here? We need one, two, three, we need four, five, and seven. Four and seven are in the same row. That's a five. This is four, seven. In fact, I know what this is. Because I've got a 4 in here, looking at this, that's a 7, that's a 4, that 5 gives me the 8 and the 5. Excellent. Now we need 3, 8 and 6. 6 and 8 are on the same row, that's 3. These are 6, 8, in fact the 8 is just forced and that's a 6. That 3 gives me the 9, the 3, the 1, the 9. Can I still... Um, yeah, I can complete it now. That's a 1, that's a 2, and whatever it is that I need to complete it, that's a 6. Right, same logic in here. We need a 3, 7, and 8. 3 and 7 line up, that's an 8. This is 3, 7. 1, 4, and 5. 1 and 4 line up, that's a 5. These are 1, 4s. And to finish up, we need 2 and 9. You can see immediately that lines up in the column. And whatever this cell is, is going to be a 6, then 2 and 9. And then repeat the trick up here. Oh, the 6 actually gives me the 5 and 6. This will help, I'm sure. Right. 1, 3, and... Sorry, I need to get the door. I'm just going to pause a second. Right, sorry about that. It was time to take our dogs for a walk. 
So it's been actually quite a while since I've paused, but I think we were down to, yeah, Sudoku at this point. So probably not that tough for me to pick it up. The row I have selected, I'm looking for one, three, and five. Not helpful because they're on separate rows. So actually the five is helpful. That's a five, that's a one, that's a three. We need, actually, can we use this? Yeah, we can just keep tidying up now. Have I got anything else here? Yeah, the one gives me the four, the one. May as well see this row here where I need a two. I need a two and a four. Four goes here, two goes there. That gives me the nine, that gives me the two. And then seven, then we can just place the remainder. We need six, eight, and nine. Six is where I am. Eight is here, and then if I've not made any mistakes, nine for the finish. Love the puzzle, Mr. Willpower, as always. A phenomenal puzzle with entropy spirals. Hope that you guys enjoyed it and the video as well, and see you back for the next one. Bye-bye for now.